Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn about the Axis system. I mean to say global and local Axis system. Before we begin make sure you subscribe to my channel. Global and local Axis system. Global Axis system it has X, Y and Z axis and Z is the out of plan axis and former two are in plane axis. The global Axis system is always fixed. The other Axis system is local Axis system. They change with orientation of member. In ETABs three colors are used basically to differentiate them. Red represents global X and local 1. Green is for global Y and local 2. The last one blue is for global Z and local 3 axis. For a structural frame with beam and column as system shown in the figure. The XYZ will be global axis for entire component of system. And each component of system will have their own local axis. For example let's have a look at one of the beam. It will have local 1 along its length, 2 along depth, and 3 along width. Let's go to another figure. Here the X, Y and Z are the global axis. And each component of structure system have their own local axis based on orientation. And is represented as 1, 2 and 3. This is the extruded view of previous system. Let's look at the column layout plan first. Here we have rectangular columns. Clearly we can see orientation of one column is reversed to the other three. And that is column A2 on top left of your screen. Local axis 1 is along length of member. And we can see local axis 2 is along larger dimension. And 3 along shorter dimension in cross section. Similar is the case for beams. Local 1 along length. Local 2 along larger dimension that is depth. And local 3 along smaller dimension, width. We can conclude an entire system has a common global axis and each component of system will have their own local axis. For the forces, moment, deflection of a beam. Force acting along local 1 that is along length is axial force, denoted by F11. Similarly for gravity load acting on beam F22 will be major shear. And F33 will be minor. For bending we will use right hand thumb rule. Our thumb will point along an axis and the direction of curl fingers will give direction of bending. For gravity load, the beam will deflect as shown. Let's point our right thumb along 3 then curl of finger will give direction of bending or bending in direction of depth. This is also called M33 moment. Similarly when load is in lateral direction there will be bending in plan view and is called M22 moment.